Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this week's video I'm going to be looking at a couple of different ways but really quick ways that we can use to remove or extract text from an alphanumeric field. So you can see on the left here we've got a few examples uh, and these alphanumerics are, are in all in different formats so you can see we've got uh, some letters at the beginning followed by numbers, letters and some more numbers and obviously a single letter at the end there and you can see we've got different variations on this and we want to look or understand how two different ways of how we can extract these uh, the text so that we will remove the numbers so we're left with just the text there's another way to put it so I've got two examples one is using flash fill and the other one is using power query uh, both of these are available from Excel 2013 or after so that should cover the majority of the Excel users uh, or the versions that you have. So these are just a couple of ways. These are by no means the only ways you can do this. Um, but I tried, wanted to try and focus this video around moving away from complex or extensive formulas and just showing you the actual built-in function we have in Excel to be able to do this uh, particular solution. So the first one we're going to be doing is using flash fill and it's probably the most easiest out of the two or any, or any potential solution for doing this. All we need to do with flash fill is look at our first example here and we can see that we've got just number and s at the end. So we need to type in here what our desired outcome is. Our desired outcome is. So for us that would be just uh, number and the s at the end, so just numbers. So what we've done is yeah, to put in there what our desired outcome is from start this starting point. All we then need to do is select this particular cell we go to our data tab and then you can see we've got flash fill just off the center here. If you click that button, you can see it's going to flash fill and fill with our formatting what we've applied all the way down. And you can see it's done exactly as required. So you can see the one below is pulled out just the word Apple, it's pulled Excel from the one below that. Uh, a bit of uh, gobbledygook for this one here, but then everything else has been pulled as required. So the only one thing to bear in mind with this is you need to pick a good example for your first one that you're going to copy down. So for us, we want to pick some, we know that there's going to be text at various points within this uh, string here. So we wanted to pick something that had text at the beginning, the middle and the end as our starting point so that we could flash fill that formatting all the way down. So with that in mind, it is the real simple solution to achieve what we wanted to do here. The only thing to remember with this is because there is no formulas or there's no connectivity here, obviously every time this data updates on the left, you're going to need to do that flash fill again on the right. Not really a big ask, but I guess if you had extensive data, then that is something that you probably need to bear in mind. The second option that we're going to look at is using Power Query. So you might have already been used to Power Query, uh, or if you're not, this could be a good introduction for you. So Power Query uh, allows us to do a number of sort of extensive uh, transformations with our data. And I say transformations because that's the one we'll be looking at today. If you haven't uh, seen Power Query before, then I'd definitely suggest looking into it more because it could save you a lot of time and remove a lot of complexity from your work. Uh, if you'd like to see us do a video focusing more around Power Query, please leave us a comment below uh, and we'll make sure that we uh, get to that and do that video so we can show you. Uh, well, I say do that video, it's going to be probably a multitude of videos, but yet yeah, we can obviously address that for you as well. So for Power Query, we need to first uh, convert our source information into a table. To do that, I'm just going to take a copy and go into another sheet. And I'm just going to enter those values in here. And I'm sure you'll be very aware of how you do a table. So it's going to insert table. And we just want to make sure that my table has got headers, as we've got here. So we can go OK. Once we've done that, the next thing we need to do is we just then go into our data tab and we can go into from table. And you can see I'm in the get and transform data section. So go from table uh, range. And you can see that it's loaded our table with our source information for us. All we're going to do from this is we go into add column and we're going to go into the custom column. So if we go into this, this allows us to add a custom common a column that is basically built based on our entered criteria. For this, we're going to enter into here. We're going to put uh, no number data, seems a logical name to call it. And then we can step into our formula. 
Um, so we're going to obviously sort of skim over this a bit, uh, but I'll try and go uh, into enough detail so you understand what the formula is doing, but obviously not going in too much that it makes this more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, so what we want this formula to do is we want it to search for and remove the numbers. The part of the formula is going to do that is we're going to do our curly brackets, and we're going to do, and normally what you could do in here is do a zero, do two full stops, and then do the number nine, do your curly brackets, and then what that part of the formula tells uh, to Power Query is we want you to search from zero all the way up to number nine. So by putting this bit of code in here, it basically saves you from having to put one all the way through to the number nine. But because we're going to be obviously referencing an alphanumeric field, we actually need it to look for the text version of those numbers. So to do that, we're just going to enter each one of these into quotations so that it obviously converts it to text. And then once we've done that, we can then enter the rest of our formula around it. So if we go into start here, and the formula is going to be, or the function we're going to be using is text.remove. So that's that top one you can see here. And then once we've done that, we're going to open or do another brackets. And then we can just double click our alphanumeric here. So this is the field we want to reference. Double click like that. We'll then do a comma. And you can sort of see how the formulas now start to come together. So we want to remove text from this field. And obviously these are all the, um, the text values or text number values that we want you to search for and remove. And then just to close or finish that off, we do a last bracket, select OK, and you can see how that has now converted those for us. So this is the final result. We can see that it's removed all of the text and just, or sorry, it's removed all of the numbers and just left, left us with the text values instead. So once we're fine and happy with that, we can just do close and load. And you can see it's obviously refreshed our table for us. And we've now got our desired numbers here. So all I'm going to do now, just to slightly cheat, is go copy, go into here, and I can now paste those into here, this value here. I'll just change the title there. But there you go. You can now see we've got our text values there as well. So in summary of that video, obviously the most quickest and easiest way to do it is by using the flash fill. But hopefully that serves as a bit of an introductory video as well to show you how to start using Power Query and the benefits of using Power Query. Uh, Power Query is potent, well, particularly of benefit if you're pulling data in from an external source or you're pulling in a lot of information and you just want to spit out that outcome. So two options there for you to start with, but hopefully that gives you a solution to that problem if you come across it. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give the video a like. It's uh, not only very beneficial for the YouTube algorithm, it also is very beneficial to me because it shows me the videos that you like and would like to see more of. If it's your first time of finding the channel or you have been on the channel before, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell notification button so you're notified of our future videos. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.